In this course, we've seen how a community works together to prepare for, respond to, and recover from the impact of a disaster. We've looked at how volunteering with the Red Cross during a disaster response provides you with opportunities to work hand in hand with others. Now ask yourself, what resources, skills, and talent can you contribute to our mission? What are your next steps? Are they with the Red Cross or with another group? We've also learned how the people making up our communities are unique and varied, and the importance of the Red Cross reflecting that diversity in its programs, services, and volunteers. The program basically is to educate the senior uh, how they prepare for any emergency, and also it's kind of like grandma and grandson, they have a very good relationship. It benefits both sides. The Red Cross mission is best fulfilled by delivering timely and effective services in a manner sensitive to those we serve and by supporting the efforts of those who share our commitments in disaster relief. I feel very committed to it and feel very committed to the, the principles of the International Red Cross and Red Crescent Movement. It's a way for me to be a part of my community and that feels really good. Working with the Red Cross showed me such a great example of how you can react very fast in helping others. If you believe in and are willing to support the mission, principles, and values of the American Red Cross, then we welcome you to join us in serving all communities across this great nation. On behalf of the American Red Cross, I want to be the first to welcome you to the greatest team you'll ever be a part of.